In Nigeria, when government denies you a job, you create one for yourself. They deny you water, you dig a borehole. Yet they want to tax you for the borehole. They deny you light, you buy power generating set. They deny you security, you form a vigilante group. And they deny you good road, you create excuses for them. Hence our declaration today, good roads wanted. Sometimes last year, our Minister for Works and Housing, my learned friend and senior, Babatunde Rajifa Shola ICN, was quoted as saying, Nigerian roads are not that bad. I will excuse him, because in my country, ministers don't travel by road with ordinary citizens. They fly. So how then do you expect them to know the true states of federal road? Or maybe he was misquoted. In her own response, the Minister for Finance, Haja Zainab Ahmed, stated that most of the bad roads in the country are owned by state government. I laugh. If I may ask whether state or federal, who is the beneficiary of the roads if they are repaired? Is it not the ordinary citizen whose security and welfare the government has sworn to protect? Why can't the federal government fix the roads and deduct the funds from the state share of the revenue in the federation account? Same way, state repair federal roads and makes claims from federal government. I'm guess I might be asking for too much. But I love Pa Deboye's um, response on the state of Nigerian road. He remarked that there are no roads, not to even talk about being bad. And I completely agree with him that the geo, as is fondly called, that indeed most of what we call roads in Nigeria cannot be called roads in the real sense, as most of them are not occurable, not to talk of being motorable. It is only when something is in existence that you say it is bad. Yet, the government vehicle inspectorate officer, VIO, will require your car to be roadworthy when the road is not carworthy. Since our ministers are too busy to travel on a non-existent road, and also for fear of being kidnapped, as their ransom value might be too high, we have decided to do the trip on their behalf so they can judge for themselves if indeed the roads are bad or not. Starting from the Mina Zugeru and Mina Bida Road, a traveler will spend two days on that two hours journey road. The Bini Wari and Bini Potakot Road, popularly known as the, as the East-West Road, is a dead trap. Potakot Aba is not motorable anytime it rains. Why vehicles have abandoned Abai Kotekpene Road? How about the 110 kilometers Guso Dansadu Road in Zamfara State? And Biu to Gombe Road, not to talk of the one from Damaturu to Biu. The Oyo Ishein Road in Oyo State has been abandoned for as long as I can remember, more than 20 years ago. Why the Oyo Ogbomosho Road can no longer be called a road? As the huge crater on that road can swallow a vehicle. To say Asaba, to Enugu Road is bad is an understatement. You can't move with a vehicle from Itori to Papa on the Lagos Shagama Belkuta Road. If you talk about the Makodi Boko, Kasinala Zaki Biam Road, which links Benue State to Taraba State, or the Onicha Otupo Makodi Road, then you are certainly looking for trouble. What about the local Jabini Road that has been turned into a kidnapper's den around Okene and Eho because of the bad state? Or is it the Lokoja Abuja section of the road? I've been at the at Jakuta Lokoja side. That is now a river on highway. People are even using Kenu. Last time I talked about the Lagos Badagri, Agbara to Ota, and Aja to Ekbe in Lagos and Ugo. Rather than fix the road, the government said police after innocent use, protesting the bad state of the road. In this third part, the federal government trunk A road are also non existent from Enugu to Wiri, or Potako to Wiri. Omoaya to you, and Odupani Junction in Cross River State is the same story. In the, in the north, Ugurore to Mayo uh, Balewa, Lausing to J Jalingo, both in Adamawa and Taraba State, and a terrible state. How about the Chibok Gombe, Mubi Road in Adamawa, then Zaria Funtua Road? All of this. Where can one truly say we have good roads in the north, south, east, or west in Nigeria? Please, if you find any, let us know. As even the existing good ones are failing by the day. Mind you, most of these roads have been in bad condition even before the current administration. As previous government have repaired them only in their budgets, pockets, and books. I would therefore advocate that federal government should not just relinquish the management of most of these roads to state governors, but should also decentralize power to enable them raise revenue to reconstruct same. They should also go into public-private partnership arrangement with investors 
where investors can rehabilitate the road and collect toll on same over a period of time. By so doing, government not only ease the burden of having to supervise the road they hardly visit, but the people can also take responsibility for the construction and management of the road in their domain and make money from it. Government should also learn to diversify into water transportation as they are currently doing with the rail project as it will help to ease the pressure on the roads. For the little fire we left days ago can leave us without a little in the near future.